What's going on guys, Deacon Do Dirty back here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing another haul from the Overwatch series. Okay guys, before we get into the haul, make sure if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And let's get right into what I got today. As always, I go from my least favorite to favorite. But, they're all, as I always say, they're all my favorites. So, it's kind of hard to break them. First, we have here Widowmaker. There she is right there. And these are all from the video game. You know, guys, other than Pops, I play a lot of video games. So all the video game Pops that come out, I usually get them. Here's Widowmaker. Here's all the ones right now available on the back. You have Tracer, Reaper, Widowmaker, Pharah, Soldier 76, and Winston. A lot of cool characters, six in total. There's a lot of heroes, so they're probably going to do another wave of these guys. Because there's a lot of other heroes that will look awesome as Pops. Anyway, let's take her out of the box and see what she looks like. Okay guys, here she is. This is Widowmaker. With the crazy helmet. Obviously her helmet is supposed to look like a uh, spider's eyes. Because Widowmaker, Black Widow. So that's pretty freaking hurt. She's pretty freaking awesome in the game. She's a sniper. Sniper with an assault rifle and she throws down like a poison trap. Like trip mines her ability she can see through walls or she can mark people and you can see uh, other enemies through walls there's her sniper rifle right there in her hand there's the back of her I love her color the purple she's basically like a purple tint all over her long ponytail I didn't even notice the ponytail so I just now took her out of the box but it looks freaking awesome a lot of detail in these pops. A lot of detail. I actually saw the prototype of these pops before they were even released. Because I follow a guy on Twitch that works at Funko. So he showed all of them to me. But yeah, she's freaking awesome, man. She does not come with a base. She has a hole in her foot, but I don't see a base in her box. But yeah, there she is. Looking pretty freaking awesome. Next we have here, we have Tracer. I just showed you on the back of the box. There she is in the box. She is like the, uh, I don't know, not the mascot, but like she's the character you see on all the uh, cover art of the box art. And she actually is one of the most controversial characters in video game history. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay guys, here she is out of the box. Her goggles are awesome. They are see-through. She wears these orange goggles in the game. And you can see through them, and you can see through them on the pop. Pretty freaking crazy. Alright, that's the front of her, wearing an orange suit. She has two uh, pistols, or machine pistols that she runs around with in the game. Look at her crazy hair. That little pixie cut, I guess you would call it. This is a female, by the way. <laughs> Alright, here's why... She is the most controversial character in video game history, or one of, because for some reason, people got crazy because the way her butt looked in the game. I don't know why, because there's a lot of other stuff going on in video games that was worse, but just people had, they had to change something about her because of her butt. <laughs> anyway guys, these, these pops, I love these pops, man, they're super detailed. I love them. She looks freaking awesome. Next we have here Soldier76, he is my favorite character in the game, this is a GameStop exclusive. Also, take him out of the box see what it looks like. There he is guys. His goggles are not see-through, that's just what he looks like in the video game. Like Cyclops almost. I don't know if you can tell, you see there's like a line through his goggles. There's a front of him, that big old gun, that gun is awesome, it's an assault rifle. Can shoot rockets too. So once again, a lot of detail in this character. They did a very good job with these pops. There's his number 76 on the back. His white hair. Looks like there might be a little smudge of paint on the back of his head there. Let me see. Show you. Right there on the line, see it's a little bit darker. But that's fine. This guy actually, if you bought the game, Collector's Edition of the game, 
You came, the game came with a statue of this guy. It looked pretty badass. Okay guys, last but not least, this is my favorite from the series so far. We have a Reaper. I mean, how could he not be with a name like Reaper? You can already tell he looks really cool. There he is guys. Let's get a closer look. Reaper. With his obviously skeleton Reaper looking face. Those are two shotguns in his hands. Look at that detail in his suit though. And they captured these guys really good, man. Wearing a trench coat, obviously. It's like a militarized Grim Reaper, basically. The shotguns look BA, man. He's pretty good in the uh, game. You have to be kind of up close to your other enemies to uh, kill them, because obviously they are shotguns. But they're very powerful. He has abilities, I think, to teleport in the game. So he also has the ability, like he does a special where he just starts yelling, die, 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 and he goes crazy with those shotguns. But look at this guy. Look how scary he is. Anyway guys, those are the Overwatch pops that I have right now. There are two other ones in the series, but one is a Blizzard store exclusive that you have to order her. Winston, I've seen out other places, but the GameStop that's closer to me does not have him yet. But. I actually waited on the UPS truck to get there that day to get all these pops because the girl, I'm the manager, she's pretty cool. She lets me know when the pops are coming, so I'll get there first thing, wait for the UPS truck, get them straight out of the box. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all guys later.